Number one, praise and approval. We men love praise and approval, right? It won't make us cocky. It's going to make us feel loved. Let me know when I did something right. Let me know when I'm doing something right. Let me know what you find attractive about me. Let me know that I'm a great father. I'm a great dad. I'm a great person. You know, when I do something right, let me know. Say, babe, good job. You know, some men, we do need a pat on the back. Not literally a pat on the back, but we need some kind of approval to let us know that, hey, you are improving. You looking good. You went to the gym today, babe. I see that six pack showing. You looking like a, a snack. Number two, respect. Men feel respect as love, right? Respect my decisions. Respect my goals. Respect my dreams. Respect who I am as a man. If I'm work, if your man is working hard every single day to provide for the family, he's being there for you. He's caring for you. He's investing in you. And he's being that that good man because good men do exist. Respect that man and what he does for you. Number three, a sense of sexual connection. I want to know that I still look good to you. I want to know that I'm attractive. I want to know that you find me sexy. I want to know that you find me handsome. I want to know that when we get married, right, that you want to have sex with me, right? That you want to make love to me, right? I want you to find me sexually attractive just as much as you love my mind. I want you to find me like I'm the sexiest man in the world. Like, I love you. You look good. And that goes with praise and approval, right? A woman, have you, tell your man, babe, you look good right now. I love the way your arms look in that shirt, right? I love the way that shirt fits you. I love the way that those jeans fit you. You have to give that praise and approval and also have that sexual um, connection with your man. Let him know that he looks good because us, we, we love that type of approval. We love that type of communication, right? Let us know that we look good. It makes us feel loved. Number four, emotional intimacy emotional intimacy right the reason why i say emotional intimacy is because we want to know that you won't judge us or make us look bad for sharing our feelings with you right if i cry on your shoulder that doesn't make me less of a man i'm just opening up emotionally to you so we need that that woman who is um who's a who's also a nurturer Right, who can lay us on our shoulders and say it's gonna be okay, even though we walk around like we're macho and we're tough. We love that kind of sense of connection. I want to feel safe as much as you want to feel safe in my arms. I want to feel safe on your shoulders. If something's going wrong in my life, if the job is not treating me right, if life is not treating me right, I want to have that emotional intimacy with my wife, with my woman, you know, with my girl, so I feel safe. And I know that I'm just not a deadbeat man. Number five, we need space. Suffocating your man is the fastest way to end a relationship. We need space. At, we know that you ladies, you love to be cuddled. You love attention. You love, But we need our space. We need time to go out with our boys, hang out, go to the gym, play basketball for a few hours, right? Without you blowing up our phone, texting us every minute, where you at, what you doing. We just need space. Don't text us. I'm sorry. Don't. No, I'm not sorry. Don't text us. Don't call us. Just leave us alone for that three hours. If you want to check up on us, then that's okay. That's fine. Hey, baby, checking sure, making sure that you're there safe. You know, hey, babe, um, when you're coming home, could you pick me up some milk? Can you pick me up some, some ice cream? Whatever it is. But we need space. We need time to breathe because... As a man, we have so much responsibility. Sometimes playing basketball with the boys, you know, we want to just relax and let all that steam out of us, right? We having career problems. We having, you know, we we consistently with the baby. We're consistently like trying to provide for our family. We need time and space to relax and take a deep breath. Because if we're being smothered too much, we're going to be stressed out. So, number 5, space. We need space. Number six, we need physical touch. As much as physical touch is your um, love language, man, and you you love the way we slap your booty when you're walking by, we grab you. We, we want that too. Don't, don't slap the booty. But, you know, we want that, that physical touch. Like, grab me, touch me, grab my arms. Be like, oh, babe, you've been working out. You've been hitting the gym. I like that. Like, it makes us feel better. Like, touch me. You know, grab my face, touch my, my, my beard or what I have here. I don't got a beard, but whatever. I ain't, I ain't beard gang. But 
we want that physical touch. Give us a hug. You know, sometimes we won't even ask for it and we should, right? Or just walk up to our baby. But when a woman says, hey, babe, come here, give me a hug. And you grab you and, and that hold, that, that tightness, that, that physical, emotional touch, that connection, it feels heavenly. You know, so sometimes all a man needs is like, hey, babe, give me a hug, right? Or jump on him, hey, and what's that for? That's just for being you. That's just for being a great father. That's just for, for being a good provider, for being a great boyfriend, you know, for, for being a great man. And it's okay to hug your man and, or, or kiss your man on the forehead or the cheek and say, hey, babe, I love you, right? We want that physical touch. Last but not least, number seven, security. We want to feel, and, and this goes for men and women too. The last one goes for men and women. We want to feel safe when I'm around you, right? I'm talking about with the honesty, the loyalty, the integrity. I want to know that you won't talk about me behind my back to people I know and the people I don't know. I want to know that this relationship, we're all in, right? I don't want you to think single. I don't want you to, to do single things. I want you to be committed. And that's part of security, knowing that this relationship is going somewhere, and it's not going somewhere with someone else, right? So we need that security, that feeling that we got this locked in. We are a team. We're in this to win this. We in this till death do us part. You could be married. You could be, you know, engaged. Or you could have just a boyfriend and girlfriend connection. But the security doesn't end at either one. We want to feel safe. We want to know that you're not playing me behind my back. I want you to make me feel safe. And that's based on how you treat me. Right. And all the stuff that I listed before. Right. If you're there for me. Right. Do you really love me? Are you coming home one time? Are you texting me? You know, frequently. Are you giving me a call? Are you making me feel safe at the end of the day? So we need that security. We need that sense of reassurance. We need to feel secure in our relationship with our partner. Sometimes all we need and in relationships, all we need is someone to love us. Right. Beyond our circumstances, beyond our flaws, beyond the things that we do that makes you pissed off. We just need love.